We are in the small village of Merzuga, home of the nomadic families of the Eight Buni tribe, a fraction of the larger Eight Chabash tribe, who are related to each other, regardless of distance, through ancestral solidarity and rites that bind them to each other. Yusef has been an orphan from childhood. He is more at ease in the company of the animals he looks after, rather than with people. Aisha, now over 30 years old, dreams of owning her own Chaima tent one day. For this occasion, the Isnayan, or the groom's ministers, play the role of sultans. They are chosen for their understanding of tradition, their endurance and affable character. Marriage is one of the essential rites defining the identity of this community. Rituals have a strong symbolic value. Even though they may have lost some of their significance over time, they are still repeated scrupulously. From then on, the bride's face must remain hidden until the night of the wedding. The men in the bride's family pretend to prevent the Isnayan from taking the bride away. The henna ceremony commences for the groom. Like the bride, the groom's face must also remain hidden from the public until after the night of the wedding.